Hey, it's Bree. This is my update from Tanzania. I'm sitting here in my tie-dye muumu. It's just like a big piece of cloth, sewed with a neck hole and some arms. Uh, a big hit here for the BAS girls. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm in Tanzania, Africa, and we're having a really good time. Just um, I've seen God do a lot. Uh, a lot in our team and bringing unity and even just today I've seen a big breakthrough in our attitudes towards one another and just our communication and realizing that we haven't been loving each other and we need to and that we're going to choose to even though it's hard and um, yeah we ha only have three weeks left here which is crazy to think about before we move on to Zambia but we have had the opportunity to deliver the birth attendant school's 4,000th baby here in Tanzania and um, that was such an exciting time. It was actually a twin that was not known. The mom gave birth to the first one and then and that was 3,999 and then the girl delivering realized she had another baby in there and she didn't know it either so that was fun. But um, we've been going out to uh, to a YWAM base that's out in a village um, called Mondege and we've been working with them in their in their clinic and getting to work with moms and working with the midwife out there who actually came and spoke on our school when we were in Perth. So it's just been a huge blessing. It's been so fun to get to work with her and learn from her and yeah just see a different side to birth and it's much different than in India. There's so much more value on life here. Um, they really see things different, view things different. Still not perfect but it's it's so much easier to swallow. Um, women are treated much better. They fight for the lives of babies and um, just two weeks ago I had the opportunity to be involved with um, a tiny little 1.7 kg baby um, she, one of my friends delivered Ellie she delivered the baby and the baby wasn't breathing had a strong heartbeat but was not breathing was not making any effort to breathe and so I helped um, with the resuscitation and we just began to pray for this little girl and she was completely limp lifeless other than her heartbeat and um, began doing what we know to do to suction to give oxygen through the bag and mask and and to pray and we put a little hat on her and just blessed her and I felt like God said um, her name is Joy and I want you to pray that over her so I just began to pray joy over her that she would be a joy to her family that she would be a joy in her life and um, have joy as well as bring joy and be a joy and um, it was just incredible. We worked on her for probably close to a half an hour and um, she began to start taking breaths on her own. We kept supplementing with a bag and mask and just one one little thing at a time she began responding to what we were doing. She started taking some breaths on her own, started taking more breaths on her own. All of a sudden her little eyes opened, um, then her left hand kind of popped up she got a little bit of tone, then her toes started to wiggle, and we just started cheering. And, um, yeah, we just saw her, yeah, truly just come back to full life. And um, it was just such an amazing moment to see God really um, do what we were asking him to do. And it was two days later that I asked Ellie, you know, what, what name did God give you for that baby? And she said, uh, Luana and I was like oh really that's such a pretty name what does it mean and she said it means um, enjoyment and I just thought it was so cool that God had told me already to pray that over her and I would prayed that over her even before she was taking her own breaths and then that God had given her um, Ellie the same meaning to her name so that was a huge yeah testimony for me and just seeing God's faithfulness as we believe and as we pray and yeah um, I just want to thank you guys all for your prayers and your love and support and your emails um, 
signing out of Facebook for a while, so just you can catch me through email. And yeah, we have three weeks left in Tanzania before we move on to Zambia, where we will be working in another government hospital. And um, we'll be more spread out. We'll be living in different homes, it sounds like. Um, so yeah, you can just continue to pray for our unity and uh, working together and loving one another even through the hard times. And um, yeah, just that God would continue to grow our faith and in our belief that he really truly can do anything um, that we ask and we, and we believe and we hope for. So yeah, I love you all and excited to hear stories from what's happening at home. And yeah, keep up with me through email. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for your prayers. God bless you. Bye.